Hi, Mother. Well, good. I'm glad there's somebody out there. What's your name? My name's Becky. I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, good. What's your question, honey? Um, I've been away from the church. From, I was away from the church for over 20 years, ah. and through the grace of God, have come back now. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome home. Thank you, dear. And you've been a big part of that conversion. <laughs> thank I just, you, Jesus. I thank God for you. But I'm wondering, what is the best way that I can work off my time in purgatory? Oh, wow. We're all trying. But you know, I don't think it's hard to skip purgatory. It's not like skipping your third grade, you know? You got to be smart to skip a class or skip a grade. To get out of purgatory or to get away from purgatory or go straight to heaven is very simple. You say, yeah, I bet. Wait till she comes out with the last sentence. You know? uh -huh. No, it's very simple. We have only to do the will of God in the present moment. That's it. Now, you can't sin, of course, but the will of God in the present moment excludes sin. <laughs> excludes it. It has nothing to do. I mean, we, we can't go to heaven like that, but we're doing the will of God. That's the key. You know, some people regret they didn't do this, they didn't do that. It's finished, it's over, and like our Lord said to Angela Foligno, the past is dead. It does not exist. And the future, unborn. But you and I, if you're a housewife, if you're, your, your duty is to cook supper, then cook supper for Jesus, for your husband, for your family. If your mother is sick and you have to take care of her, do it with love. See, we don't feel. We're not talking about feelings. We're talking about the will. I want to be like Jesus, and I'm going to try to be like Jesus. I may not always make it, but I want to work at it. You see? Then we're like Jesus, and then we're developing in our hearts the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that was placed there by God when you were baptized. Baptized, see? I don't think it's hard because I'll never forget. I mentioned this woman a lot because to me she was the most magnificent example. I don't think she went to purgatory. I don't have any proof, but with a Mrs. Michaels. She had bone cancer. And they had her on sheepskin because if she turned around, a bone would break. Her husband left her when he found out she had bone cancer. She had a daughter, and somehow she took care of her daughter with all that cancer. But there she was in bed, had a very thin piece of material on her because she couldn't stand anything else. And I went in to see her. <clears throat> I said, Mrs. Michaels, how are you? I'm fine, she said, thank God. She said, I, I had to sign my daughter over to my sister because I'm dying and I want her to have a home. Now this person lost her husband because he was so selfish. She lost her daughter because she couldn't take care of her. She was an unbelievable pain. But she had, in her emaciated face, the most beautiful smile I ever saw. She was crucified, everything taken away from her, in unbelievable pain. And all she could say to me when I left, Praise God. Oh, that woman, I think, went to heaven. And that's what we need to try and do. Maybe you want to get married, you haven't found anyone. Maybe you should thank God. <laughs>
maybe he needs to thank God, you know? <laughs> it just came out, I mean. I, somebody needs to thank God. But see, sometimes the things we want or the things we think we want or the things we think we need are not good for us. I, I love Padre Pio, and I read everything on him I can get my hands on. This is my third or fourth book. This woman had great love for Padre This is when he was living. And I think I told you this, but she was up on the top of a mountain, and there's a lot of them in Italy. And she was at the top of this mountain, and, and she was walking backwards, you know, to see the, the sky, and it was beautiful. And all of a sudden, she smells roses. And that was a sign he was there. Padre Pio was there. This is what he's living. And she thought he was next to her. And she turns around, and she's about a foot away from a precipice. Wow. She thanked God. Well, about a few months later, she goes to see Padre Pio to thank him. And he said, before she said a word, you know what he said to her? He said, don't act like a child next time and walk backwards. <laughs> that would have scared. She didn't say a word. She didn't say a word about thank you. Eddie. She was so shocked she couldn't speak. Now you say, well, God gave him a gift. But he always said yes to God. And we don't love God for his gifts, you know. So I, I would... I would say I a long explanation. I thought I hope I got your answer somewhere in there. But just do the will of God and pray, 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 pray. As much as you can, when you can. Go to Mass, receive the sacraments. I'll make a bet. If you did all that, you'll go right to heaven. We have oh, let's see. Uh about five minutes. What do we got? 